Are you a fellow explorer? It appears you're alone. I'm on my own at the moment too, but I was hoping for a partner for the path ahead. What do you say? Would you mind working together? At least until we're through here? Don't worry, I'm not gonna stab you in the back. And my asthma and the lost here are enough trouble as it is. Thanks a lot. I'm glad to work with you. It's good to be with you. Well hidden. An ambush. that pretty well. Did you pick up something we can use? I think we can go up here. That really be? Head down. Sorry, I'm on. 
on my way. Hey, you. That's... Uh, forget it. We'll talk later. We're not far from the surface now. It's open. Probably check my equipment too. Come back after falling down there. It's quite valuable. Let's use it well. Watch out! This lake was formed from a hole created by a thorn of judgment. That's Love us. Watch the step. You've exceeded my expectations. <laughs> anything? light from the surface. Once someone is lost, they can never come back. Cast aside your doubt.
sure you save some regeneration. That's it. She's all right. By the way, both of you. All revenants must pay a levy. There are no exceptions. A vestige. Best to stay away from those stones. Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Don't listen to their whispers. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. Keep watch. Go and see if she's all right. I hear a voice. Wait, what are you... Let go! It'll swallow you up! It's all right. You can do it. Please, Please, let us let keep us them keep just, just this once. once. We won't make it if you take them. All revenants must, must pay, pay a levy of blood beads. There are no exceptions. Sorry. Sorry. Daddy! Mommy! Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads. We won't make it. A few, A few humans, humans that remain are under Silva's control. control. Wandering, Wandering revenants like us, forced to hunt for blood beads, or face death. Even if some revenants must be sacrificed for our survival. You reap what you sow, right? Well, that's all right. What's important is that at least one of us makes it. Is this the past of one of the lost? No, there's no way. This 
is a memory echo. It's a place where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you use that stairway, I believe it should take us back to the world outside this memory. How was that? It was a memory, carved into that vestige, by the one who left it behind. I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it too. We both melted into you. I can't believe this. What a power. Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beads. Nice to meet you. Ugly, isn't it? The Red Mist showed up a short time after the Queen was defeated. And when it did, it trapped everyone and everything inside, giving birth to the Society of Revenants ruled by Silva. The Jail of the Mists. As time passed, that was the name people gave to the world inside. The creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth, always searching for blood beads to sustain them. Revenants need to have blood. Without it, they turn into those creatures we call the Lost. The Revenants who captured you were desperately searching for blood, terrified of losing themselves. It's a common fate these days. But ripples are beginning to form. You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Where did you learn to do that? You've forgotten? <laughs> Anything you do remember? It's unusual, losing so much of your memory. I suppose it was the same for her. For now, just take it easy. Make yourself at home.
There you are. The revenant that Louis sees so much potential in. I'm Davis. I go around for the Provisional Government as part of the investigation into the Depths. Just as a warning, try not to stir up any trouble. If you do, I won't be able to do my job and, well, you get it, right? Here, there must be some reason, right? I'm Rin Murasame. I provide the back home support for all the explorers here. It's a pleasure. I've got my own reasons for why I can't go into combat with you, but I'll provide your weaponry and maintain it for you. Anyway, relax and make yourself at home. All revenants carry some secret with them. Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. You're an... You're an unfamiliar face. Has Louis stuck his head into another pot of trouble? Well, it's none of my business, really. Anyway, I'm Coco, a merchant by trade. Stop by if you need anything. Isn't it? Everyone will. It's warm here, isn't it? Everyone wants to know more about me, but I don't know the answer to any of their questions. All I can remember is that my name is Eo, and that my place is by your side. My name. I have no idea what it means. I'm not sure. It was simply decided. One does what must be done. And for me, that is my mission. To stay at your side. I was wounded while I was searching for you. I am not a very capable fighter.
really sorry. Right now I'm in the middle of a periodic equipment inspection. I... I'll take care of all your weapon-related needs. So relax and make yourself at home. Draw strength from experiencing memories, and the power to revitalize blood springs. Both unprecedented. Sorry, but could I get a sample of your blood? We might understand more if we analyzed it. It won't be much, just a small vial, so you won't need to worry about blood thirst. It'll take a while to get the results. Take it easy in the room back there while you wait. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of taking inventory. Try me again later if you still need something. I've done what I can to look into your talents, and I've confirmed something surprising. Revenants have blood types that differ from those of humans. These types greatly affect a revenant's abilities. However, your blood has no specific type. Or maybe more accurately, your type is broken. Your abilities, and the fact that you have no specific type, might be due to your being what we call a Void type. You were able to gain another Revenant's power through a Vestige, right? That phenomenon is unique to Void types. Supposing you are a Void type, there's a test I'd like to perform. Don't worry, you'll get something out of it. I'm going to give you some of my blood. If my theory is correct, it should act as a medium give my power to you. Well, here it goes. Did you go visit Murasame and Coco? They should be ready to do business now. Weapons and blood veils are vital parts of a Revenant's kit when exploring. You should take another look at them. If you've got materials, upgrade and transform them. Once you've got that settled, talk to me again, and we'll continue where we left off. Oh, good 
good timing. I've got everything set up now. What do you need? What do you want to upgrade? Do you want to upgrade? Buying something? Weapons available. I hope there's something you can use. Got something to sell? I've got just about anything you could want. If you want it, I got it. Even the lost are valuable customers if they bring the right coin. Let me know if you need anything. Come again soon. All revenants carry some secret with them. Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. Just so there's no confusion, don't cause any trouble, okay? I need to be able to move freely, you see. Seems I can restore the blood code of a Vestige's creator from elements left in the Vestige. If you find any Vestiges, please let me know. It could be a chance to grant you additional strength. You remember that scene we witnessed at the Vestige? kind of stuff happens every day here. Silva has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection, so revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But, well, nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. 
the world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help us... Well, you'd be drawn into a bitter conflict. Still, the truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. Will you join us? Thanks. So, it's a done deal? <laughs> well then, from now on, you're one of us. Yakumo Shinonome. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action. Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. And so far as we can determine, every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. We think that means there must be a source somewhere. A kind of headwaters for the blood beads. Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right? We want to check out the old city ruins first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. What is it? Take care. something up? We'll need to find three blood springs in our search for the source. Springs are always found in locations with missile. So, first we find missile, then expand our search radius from there. We can head out whenever you're ready. Hey, what's up? Lost are what's left of revenants who've succumbed to their thirst. Their boar parasites take over, turning them into unkillable monsters. Turn them to ash and they'll just keep popping back up, mindlessly hunting blood. Nothing human is left. If you're fighting them, show no mercy. 
Keep at them no matter how many times it takes. If you don't, you'll find yourself joining them. Okay, I'm ready when you are. It was easier to explore when we could use all the missile. The sacrifices of many provided paths into the depths. But now even the staunchest explorers are swallowed up by the worsening environment or swarms of the lost. They must have left coordinates leading to the depths, but most of those were lost along with the explorers. If you find any maps of the depths out there, I'd appreciate it if you showed them to me. We'll take care of the rest. Once we've read the data, the one who discovered it gets priority for journeys there. Your life is your greatest asset. Keep it safe. Do our best out there. <laughs> 